I can make her happy. You can't blame me for defending what I believe. I respect your views, Emily. I just can't help it if I disagree with them. I'd be glad if you'd take me into Road Town as soon as I've packed. I'm leaving on the morning plane. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. I had no idea. I hope you have a more pleasant journey than when you first arrived. Well, I'm sorry that you and I didn't hit it off better, Emily. Well, I guess there's nothing else to say. Except, um, I'm sorry that I blew my top the other day, too. Oh, that's all right. I find that easy to understand. Thank you, though, for saying it. Come on, you two. Oh, with more sailing to do, I think I'll skip tea and go and pack. Evan's taking me to road time. But, Mother, you're not leaving. Why? Why so suddenly? We haven't even discussed it. I've got to leave sometime. There's no point in discussing it days beforehand. Well, will you excuse me? I, I'll see you a little later, Emily. Now, you have your tea while I go and sort myself out. Can I come and help you? No, I want you to stay. Really, I mean it. Evan! Why is she leaving? What have you been saying to her? I suppose you were horribly rude again. Now, don't you start, for heaven's sakes. This used to be a peaceful island. But what happened? I suppose you started getting aggressive. And what do you think you're being now? I, I didn't say anything to upset her. We had a very quiet, frank talk. And I, I, uh, I think we understand each other better now than we ever have. I apologize to her for blowing my top the other day, and I think she realizes now that I consider your happiness to be just as important as she does. Uh-oh. Here comes more trouble. Well, he didn't waste much time, did he? All right. Welcome to Marina Key, Mr. Carruthers. Good afternoon, Mark. Hello, Commissioner. Hello. Do you have a cup of tea with us? Thank you. A very quick one. I wish it could be a happy social occasion, but unfortunately, my visit is official and rather far from social. Mm, I realize that, but I don't think you quite understand about the champagne. That was done in all innocence. Was it? Well, then perhaps you'll explain it. Well, you believe that one good turn deserves another, don't you? Well, theoretically, yes. Well, so do I. You see, there was a certain character that went to a lot of trouble for us, and we couldn't pay him. So he just simply asked us to shine a light for him, that's all. But didn't it occur to you to ask him why? No. I can't say that it did. Oh, did come it? now, Mr. Bond. You've been long enough out here to realize that this whole area is a hotbed of smuggling. Indeed, a carefully worded warning was given to you with your work permit for your researches. Yes, that's, that's true. And yet, at the first opportunity, what do you do? Well, there's certainly no law against shining a light on one's own property, is there? No, but it isn't your own property yet. Well, supposing it were. There'd be no law on earth to stop us from floodlighting the place if we wanted to. No, but you wouldn't expect to receive cases of champagne for it, would you now? No, I'm sorry, I have no choice but to report the matter to the Attorney General. And I'm afraid that he'll be forced, under the Land Holding Registration Act, to turn down your application for possession of Marina Key. He can try. But this island's ours. We bought it, we built our house on it, and we're going to keep it. And what's more, we... Now, darling, please, j just let me go on. We're not leaving this place. We'll fight. We'll fight you on the beaches, we'll fight in the hills, we'll fight any place. Evan, darling, let me point. handle this. Carruthers, you ought to be ashamed of yourself, arraying all the power of the law against two defenseless, peace-loving people. No, 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 no. Nor no, we'll rally public support against the persecution of two innocent householders. Three. Darling, please, let's not interject statements that we can't support. But I can support it. I'm having a baby. She's having a baby. Darling. <laughs> oh, uh, excuse us. Please. My congratulations. Oh, thank you. That's happy news. Yes, thank you. I happen to have one. That was a nice thought, anyway. <laughs> thank you. But if you'll take my advice, you'll abide by the decision of the Attorney General. Would your Attorney General fight an innocent baby? No, 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 no. But to try and resist would be insane. Insane? Hmm. And George Washington and Thomas Jefferson, they were insane, too. What have those distinguished gentlemen got to do with this? They fought the British crown, didn't they? And they won. They won because their people stood united against a foreign tyranny. You're forgetting this is British soil. Not anymore, it isn't. How do you make that out? We declare independence. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal. Evan, why did we write our own declaration? That's a wonderful idea. Yes, we'll write our own declaration, and we'll send it to your authorities in Antigua and, uh, and uh, uh, London. London, that's right, London. And uh, we'll go to the United Nations, darling, and see what they have to say about the rights of oppressed minorities. Darling, you are marvelous. <laughs> well, I think that just about sums it up, Carruthers. We'll be in touch with your government in due course. Good day, sir. I should never have married you.
no island called Marina Key marked on this map. Well, nevertheless, it exists, sir. I found it on a list in the files. Find it on this map. Oh, it's near a larger island called Beef. Beef? Yeah, B-W-F. Well, there's Beef. Yeah. I was a little to the north, I think. Oh, there we are, sir. Marina Key. Ah. Thank you. Hmm. And what grounds do these people wish to separate from the crowd? Well, they think they're ready for self-government, sir. Among other things, they say that a 50% increase in the population is anticipated in the coming year. How many names are there on that preposterous declaration? Only one, sir. Claims to speak for the entire population. Crank, obviously. Violet. Yes, sir. He says here, in view of the Monroe Doctrine ruling on self-determination for the Western Hemisphere, we feel the United States government should be informed of the situation. Signed, Evan Bond, Marina Key. You know, uh... This calls for another note to London. What do you think? More emphatic this time. Yeah. Polite inquiries get us nowhere. Oh, Washington maintained that they queried us about this Marina Key issue weeks ago. Quite so, Secretary of State. We have been endeavoring to assemble the facts. If Mr. Paramore might be permitted to give us the result of his findings, Go ahead. Marina Key is off the east end of Tortola in the British Virgins. Last year, a couple named Bond purchased and made application for a deed to the island, which comprises some eight acres in area. Pardon me, but are you saying this issue concerns two people on an eight-acre island? That is correct, sir. Then what in blazes is this talk about a significant increase in the population? Mrs. Bond is anticipating an addition to the family. Gentlemen, rarely. Ah. Let me paint for a while, darling. Well, do you think you should? Uh, yes, I feel fine. Well, I mean, I, you, well, if you want to, fine. You know. you? Oh, my. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I think I, I dropped a couple of stitches, honey. Well, pick them up again. Pick them up again. Pick them up again. Mm -hmm. Do you think it's going to appreciate all the work we're doing in its room? Uh, well, I, I wouldn't count on too many demonstrations of gratitude for the first few months. <laughs> May I come in? Dr. McNulty here. Oh, hello, Doctor. Come on in. We're in the nursery. Morning. Interesting division of labor around here. Oh, do you like it? I, I think I'll uh, add blue cuffs and pearl the oak and pastel green, all right? Uh, oh, excuse me, you want your hat? Uh, I've, I've revised my estimate. Make it three weeks instead of five. Right, right. Then, then I'll reserve the room on the 10th. I want her there at least a week before the, there's any chance of it arriving. Oh, yeah, a good idea under the circumstances. Right. Oh, and uh, try taking some of the heavier work off her hands, will you? Yes, I'll, I'll try and do that, Doctor. Good. Trouble is in this thing, the carburetor. Yeah, I was afraid of that. How long do you think? I don't know. I think I take it with me to the workshop in East End, and they have it fixed maybe by tomorrow. All right, tomorrow now. <laughs> tomorrow. Uh, Doc, he happy with your miss? Oh yeah, yeah, she's fine. She really is. You know, soon this island have everything it needs. Happy people and happy children and good times ahead. Eh? Yeah, you bet. Happy. <laughs> I'll see you, Marcus. Take good care of that. Now.
When did it happen, honey? Just after the doctor left. Should have told me. I could have called him back. I didn't think anything of it, even though it did hurt. But it's done the trick, I'm afraid. Are you sure it's a real thing? Yes. Yeah. Well, I, I can't be sure. I've never been through it before. I, I'd know, but... Oh. Oh. Oh, poor sweetheart. Is it very bad? No. It, just like a bad attack of wind, only worse. Well, look, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll try to get you into road town, all right? Mm. And then if it turns out to be a false alarm, we'll, we'll let you stay there anyway, all right? Okay. Okay, honey. Uh, let me just get this off. Okay, baby? Mm. All right, honey. Come on, honey. Oh. Oh. Okay, baby. Thank you, darling. I'll get you into your thing here. How are we doing? Oh, wow.